Hey everyone, my name is Phoebe and I'm going to walk you through the new updates we have to our Smooth Curve tool. So let's dive on in and have some fun while we learn. Okay, so here we have some patterns and what we're going to go through is our Smooth Curve tool. Now, as you can see here, I have some wonky curves. Now, of course, you could use your curve point tool or even um, your edit pattern tool. So my curve point tool is shortcut V, but it's also right over here for my um, edit curve point tool. And I could, of course, just like click and add a curve point and start to edit and adjust this line if I'd like to. Totally easy and normal. Just click and move and adjust it. That is definitely one way you can do this and it's very easy. You can also go to your edit pattern tool, select that, click on the edge because these have bezier handles and I could click and adjust it, right? Click and adjust and adjust those bezier handles. I could also go to my curvature tool and just click and move this curve around and adjust it there. All of these very great and easy ways to edit this, adjust, to adjust this. But we're going to use the Smooth Curve tool to make all of these adjustments. So the Smooth Curve tool is right down here in your 2D toolbar. You can click and use this. If you have your tools grouped, so if I go to Settings, User Settings, User Interface, Group Tools On, close. So if my tools are grouped there, it's going to be inside my edit pattern tool and there will be smooth curve right here. I'm going to like ungroup my tools just because I like to see all my tools, but sometimes that's a little overwhelming to see all the tools in close. So if you like to group them, keep them grouped. That's where you'll find all of your editing tools. So there's a few like original ways in which this tool can still be used today. One of the original ways is you could easily click on like a line or even a segment point here. Let's just do the line, click and hold down and adjust the curve of this, right? So you can click and hold down and adjust this curve and then release. You could also click and hold down King and holding down. And while you're clicking and holding down simultaneously, just once click using your right mouse button and then a pop-up will come up and you can then type in the numbers you want line you can adjust line one and line two um, they're just different sides of one line and you can even like move adjust if you want the curve to go out or in or anything like that and then you can just hit okay I'm just going to also show you that here. You can click and hold, right click, that curve out or in. And then also you can add, decrease, and all of that. You can hit cancel if you don't like what you just did. So that is a traditional way in which you could use this um, tool. Another way that is a traditional way or an original way of using this tool is creating a reference line and using that line to edit the other line. So how you would do that is you would just click on one segment point and then click on another. This line then appears and this is that reference line that you will use to edit the line that you select. So I'm going to select this line because this is the line I want edited. So I'm going to select this line and now I'm going to click and drag my reference line to become the like shape that I want it to be. I can continue to edit and adjust this around if I'd like. Once I'm happy with the shape, I'll then hit enter and it will be all set and good. So both of those are nice original methods of how this feature worked with an update to you being able to keep adjusting that reference line and then hit enter to apply. Really easy and nice. Let's go into the new method. So the new method in which you can also use this is 
applying curve points to it or just editing curve points as well and also being able to edit the line and not just the reference line. I know that was a lot to hear at once so don't worry I'll walk you through it all. So let's say I just want to adjust this like cap part like this curve here. What I can do is click once here and then click once here. I selected two different segment points. And again, I'm going to select the line that I want to edit. Now, instead of then clicking on my reference line, what I'm going to do is just keep working on this current line here. So what I can do is I can just click and move this around and edit this cap part. I can also hold down control and add in a curve point. So maybe I want some curve points added in. I can then again click and move this line around. And if I keep holding down control, I can edit each curve point individually instead of adjusting the entire line. So this is really helpful because I'm holding down control, holding down control, holding down control, holding down control, still holding down control, um, still holding down control, just so you know. And this is allowing me a lot of control over how this is being adjusted. When I'll release control and then I can move this whole line together at once. And then I'm going to hold down control and adjust this. Once I'm happy with all these adjustments I just made, I can hit enter. And it will apply it. It also will apply it to the symmetrical pattern as well. Now I see here that there's still some trickiness right here. So what I'm going to do is actually click here and here. So this, I there were no segment points here. I just clicked on random areas of this line. I'm going to select here and I'm just going to have my reference line be created. Now I can hold down control on that reference line and now start to adjust that reference line a bit using curve um, per points because I held down control. And now I can hit enter and this has just been created. Now what you have seen is segment points were added in here and here based off of where I started and ended this line. If I didn't like this, I can of course go to my edit pattern tool, select this segment point, right click and say convert to curve point. I'm going to say convert only because I just want that point converted to the um, to a curve point. And I'm going to do the same here. So I'm going to select right click convert only. Then I can switch to my curve points, which I did quickly using a shortcut key V. I used V to access my curve points quickly and easily. And now I'm just going to move this around. So you might be asking me like, yeah, Phoebe, but you can like just edit curve points using your curve point tool. So like, what is this really doing? It is giving you control of just editing one section at a time. So as you can see, when I'm adjusting this line here, right, like the whole line's getting adjusted, right? Like it's being adjusted. If I selected this part, right, like this, this edge right here got adjusted. This got adjusted. Certain parts also were adjusted as well. Just to show you again here, like this other, that part at the bottom is dipping down. If I didn't want this part at the bottom to dip down, but I did want to move this up, guess what I would use? My smooth curve tool, right? I would say here to here. I would say I'm editing this and then the other part doesn't dip up, dip down, right? It's only, this is only dipping up and I would hit enter and I'd be all set. Now, Segment points weren't created there because I selected a curve point to a curve point. Segment points will only be created when you're selecting no, like I selected a curve point to a curve point for that, right? If I didn't select a curve point to a curve point and I just selected like empty space on a line, then 
it will be adjusted. The segment points will be created, as you can see. But if I start at a curve point, end at a curve point, then no points will be added. So yeah, you can see really how powerful this tool can be. And it's really, really helpful, I think. And I think it will really help a lot of you with easy edits, editing more, and adjusting patterns even more accurately with more control as ever before. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learned a lot. If you have any questions, use that comment section down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe and check out all of our great videos on our YouTube channel. Thanks again so much for watching and keep having fun in Clout.